The Level Manager in Diamonds comes in handy for managing larger 3D plate models. It is rarely used for 3D frame structures. Note that the use of the Level Manager is optional, you don't have to use it. It allows you to assign geometry elements such as plates and walls to a certain level. The Level Manager can be accessed from here. When we open the Level Manager, you see that there are currently five levels present. Foundation level plus four additional levels. Foundation is at y equals zero. Level one is at two meters seventy, as shown in this column. So the height difference between the two levels is two meters seventy. This is shown in the last column. Each level has a name and a level height. By default, a level is 2 meters 70. Now a level is a floor with walls or columns below it. And these elements, the walls and columns, have a height equal to the level height being, in this case for level 1, 2 meters 70. This is best illustrated by playing with the visibility of levels. With the little I next to each level, you can show or hide the level. And as you can clearly see, a level consists indeed of a floor with walls and columns below it. The pencil means that this level, level 2, is currently the active level. The advantage of the level manager is that you can easily modify the level height. For example, let's change the height of level 3 to 3 meters 50. You can change it over here and keep your eye on the drawing as the model will update automatically. 3.5 and I confirm with enter. You can also copy and delete levels. Let's make two copies of level 3. Copy, level to copy is level 3, two copies, and let's start copying on top of level 4. So, and there we have the two additional levels, which are called logically in the software level 5 and 6. You can also delete a level. For example, let's delete level 4. The levels above level 4 will be put down so that they form one structure with the levels below. Next to copy and delete, you can also split levels with the divide function. And let's divide level number 5 for example. You enter the level to be split, as well as the height on which this should happen. This value should be in between these two heights. So less than the total height of the chosen level, but more than the total height of the previous level. So let's, for example, choose 12 meters. And we click OK. And as you can see, there are now two level fives. And we click OK to confirm. For each point, line or plate in the model, you can check the assigned level by double-clicking the element. It is mentioned at the bottom of the window. Let's assume you want to make an extra opening in this plate on the first level. How do you do this? Well, logically, this is done in a top view for easy drawing. So when we go to a top view, what level is currently showing? Well, it depends on the current active level. And as we can see over here, the current active level is level 2. So that means you can simply switch levels over here, for example, let's go to level 1.
you draw some lines for the opening you select the plate and click delete we have now created an opening in the plate let's return to the 3d view we see that the opening is located at the correct level this is because the level manager has automatically set the drawing plane to the correct y-coordinate which corresponds to the correct level height.